subscribe my channel by pressing red button today my topic is density of states this density of states gives actually this this topic belongs to quantum free electron theory here the number of electrons per unit volume in a metal is equals to the product of the density of states and fermi dirac distribution so the equation will be like this n is equal to gde which is density of states into f at e that is Fermi Dirac distribution. Here, this term refers the and this F at E gives the probability of finding an electron in that particular state gives. So, the product of these two gives the number of electrons per unit. Before going to solve this equation, we have to solve this GE DE that is density of states first we will discuss this it number of energy states per unit volume this is called density of states for this we have to assume this pf that means uh, two spheres. This is n x and y. This is n z. This is origin. The radius of the inner sphere is n. We had assumed the radius of the outer sphere is this dn the radius is the total radius is n plus dn here the energy states present in the sphere is e and this is de the total energy states are e plus de in this sphere this is a solid sphere n is equal to radius of inner sphere dn radius of outer sphere the total the total energy states are energy states are E plus the E in this sphere. Okay. Now we have to find the number of energy states present in the radius of the sphere of N. The number of energy states present in the sphere of radius n is equal to here this is n this is radius if we divide along this radius means with uh, equal parts this each unit represents a energy state here that means if this is one angstrom this is two angstrom three four five six angstroms that means every angstrom along the radius represents a cube a cube that cube consists of an energy state the number of energy states present in the sphere of radius n is equal to actually 
the volume of this sphere is 4 by 3 pi n cube and this we have to make it 8 parts here. So if you cut a sphere into 8 parts and this position indicates a diagonal of the cube. That means 8 pieces we have to make it. If this is a sphere then we have to cut like this. It makes 2 pieces. This cut this is 4 pieces and this cut it forms 8 pieces. At the center of mass of contact each point looks like a cube. Okay. This is equation number 1. Second one is the number of energy states present in the sphere of radius n plus dn is equal to that means in the whole sphere means 1 by 8 into 4 by 3 pi into n plus dn whole cube. This is equation number 2. Now the number of energy states present in the outer sphere outer sphere of radius dn is equal to this minus this that is 1 by 8 into 4 by 3 pi into n plus dn whole cube minus 1 by 8 into 4 by 3 pi n cube. Here this 4 2 times is 4 2 times 2 into 3 is equal to 6 that is equal to pi by 6 into n plus dn whole cube minus pi by 6 this is 2 into 3 6 pi by 6 n cube this is called g dash e degree ok now we will take pi by 6 as common factor g dash e de is equal to pi by 6 into n plus dn whole cube minus n cube. Now we can solve this equation a plus the whole cube this is pi by 6 n cube plus dn cube plus 3 n dn square plus 3 n square dn minus n cube. Now n cube, n cube gets cancelled and uh, neglect higher order terms. Neglect the higher order terms. This is, this is a higher order term, third order. This is second order term. So, neglect these two terms. The remaining is pi by 6 means this is 3 n square into dn. It is g dash e t. This 3 in 2 times that is equal to pi by 2 into n square dn. That is equal to, I am writing like this, pi by 2, n into n dn. This is equation number 3. This is equation number 3. Here, I neglected this term and uh, this term because n is a very much microscopic measurement and dn also 
very much microscopic measurement if i squared this value then the resultant also decreases so this decreasing order value we have to neglect that means if we make a square to any number that should be increased if i that means for example if 2 is there if i make this 2 that means square then it returns answer 4 if 1 by 2 is there square that is equal to 1 by 4 that means this is 0.5 it returns by squaring 0.25 so by squaring we should get a high value but here we are getting low value so for that sake i neglected this tabs here according to potential box the energy levels are e is equal to n square h square by 8 m a square in potential box n means order h means planck's constant m means mass of the electron and a means width of the potential box if in this situation this is the radius of the inner sphere and this also radius is also radius of the outer sphere here this radius is equivalent of this order here that means at every integer n represents one state here so from this equation see this equation number 4 from this equation n square is equal to 8 m a square into e by h square then this is equation number 5 n is equal to 8 m a square by h square into e whole power half this is equation number 6 this is now here we have to substitute n value and n dn value i need so i found n value here now i want n into dn so differentiate equation 5 then dn square is equal to 8 m a square by h square into de then 2n into dn n square means 2n into dn is equal to 8 m a square by h square into de now n dn is equal to 1 by 2 into 8 m a square by h square into de this is equation number 7 here n is here and n into dn is here now we have to put equation 6 and 7 this 6 and 7 in equation 3 put equation 6 and 7 in equation 3 3 we get g dash a de is equal to pi by 2 into 8 m a square by h square into e whole power half into this half into 8 m a square by h square into d okay to solve this equation that is g dash e d e is equal to pi by 2 into half that is pi by 
into eight m e square by h square. Here I am taking common factor of these two. 8 m e square by h square, 8 m e square by h square. So, 8 m e square by h square power half plus 1. This is, I have taken e to the outside, e half. This is d. This is equal to pi by 4 into 8 m e square by h square whole power 3 by 2 into e power half into d. According to this equation indicates one energy state. Now, according to Pauli's principle, principle each level contains Two electrons. That means each level can accommodate two electrons. So multiply two with this equation. This is equation number eight. Multiply by two to equation eight. Then g dash e d e is equal to 2 into pi by 4 8 m e square by h square whole power 3 by 2 into e power half into d and 2 is 2 times then g dash e d e is equal to pi by 2 into 8 m e square by h square whole power 3 by 2 into e power half into d. Now, I am taking a square to the outside and pi by 2 into 8 m by h square whole power 3 by 2 into a square whole power 3 by 2 that is e power half into d this is g dash e here 2 2 gets cancelled this is equal to pi by 2 into 8 m by h square whole power 3 by 2 into a cube into e power half into d this is e power half into d this is g dash e here a represents edge of the crystal. If I assume a cube like this, if this is a cube, here A represents the edges of the cubes. This is A, this is A, this is A. That means length, breadth and height. Here A cube represents volume. A cube represents volume of the state that is G dash E is equal to pi by 2 8 m by h square into V into E power half into D. Therefore, this here this indicates one energy state one energy state with accommodation for two electrons. Very clear here. Then density of states. Density of states G E D E is equal to G dash A D E by V. That means the states per volume. That is equal to g dash e d e means this is pi by 2 8 m by h square whole power 3 by 2 
is whole power 3 by 2 v into e power half into d divided by v which is g e d and v and v gets cancelled therefore density of states g e d e is equal to pi by 2 8 m by h square whole power 3 by 2 into e power half into d. So, this is the final equation of density of states. This equation is very much useful in semiconductors topic by using this equation and or the product of this equation with Fermi direct distribution gives the carrier concentration in the conduction band, the carrier concentration in the valency band and electron concentration in the uh, n-type material and hole concentration in the p-type material we can solve. Okay? So, always you have to remember this equation. Otherwise, by heart this equation to solve semiconductor equations. Okay. Next question, we will discuss about uh, Fermi-Dirac distribution. Okay. Thank you.